is the size of your head. Hello, welcome back to my channel. So it's like seven o'clock and I'm meeting up with Jeremy's Gone Wild here on YouTube and he's actually giving me one of his pea puffer fish. He's also giving me some snails because if you didn't know, pea puffers love snails. My pea puffers will suck down so many snails. But on top of that, we're meeting at Tropical World Pets, which is my favorite, you know, local pet shop. And I kind of wanted to check on their tarantulas and just like get a better look, see what they have. It's been a while since I've really sat down and gone through them. So I'm hoping that whoever is working lets me go through their tarantulas. The store is pretty good about letting me just kind of do whatever because I'm here all the time. I feel like I practically work there at this point, but um, I'm hoping that they won't mind if I just kind of, you know, go through their tarantulas. Really casual, right? All right, let's go inside. <laughs> Hello, oh my gosh, little fishy. Little fishy, he's moping because he's cold let's, right Yeah, now. let's go inside. So, so those a, are my snails. Yeah, a bottle full of snails. Yes. There's probably about 50 snails in there. I love this waterfall. What would you put in this if you had this? That? Yeah. Great fish. Yes. Or some shrimp. Or some shrimp, yeah. That'd be really cool. That's snails. Mmm, escargot. Amazon swords. You've never met Freddy? This is Fred. Look no, at I've this. been here so many times, I've never seen this fish. Well, this is Freddy. I just made that up. What? No, he's been here a minute though. There's his friend. That's Margaret. Hey, Margaret. There's their child. Maybe. Size comparison. Yeah, he's the size of your head. Okay, the large plant, or the large sword plant is cool. Yeah. There's a gang gang right there. This guy is like one of my favorites ever. Hello again, friends. This thing's probably so tired of me coming to look at it. It's so cute though. I'm mesmerized by the awesome it's swimming up and down. All right, cool. So we got little rose hairs, T gigas. Now this, I want this. Look how adorable that is. P sazamai, sixty dollars. That's not a bad deal for one of these. What else do we have? Stripe me, Fonofoma samani. That's a fat brekkie combo. King baboon. That's about right. That's all you're gonna see. Oh, right there. Kimachala. Oh, I've seen those before. Yeah, like yeah. sports vinegar apparently, or some kind of like substance. He does a towel. These guys are awesome. All right, so let's look at these. This is a great one. Oh, um, this is a, is this a dune scorpion? So those were all the tarantulas that they have on display, like for sale. So I just kind of wanted to show what they have right now. A lot of really good options, actually. The Arizona blonde and the curly hair would both be really good for like a beginner because they're like the perfect size, I feel like, for one. Okay, so now let's talk about why Jeremy gave me his dwarf pea puffer. So I'm sure you can probably tell through this video that his pea puffer is actually a lot larger than my two pea puffers. 
So this guy is pretty much an old man. He's been in a tank with other pea puffers for years with Jeremy, but unfortunately they got old and died. Pea puffers are pretty social fish with each other, so he kind of felt bad that he was all by himself after he had been in a tank, you know, with other pea puffers for years and he didn't really want to get any more so since i just got a couple pea puffers for my tank and i only had two he thought it might work out and offered me his mail to live out the rest of his life he was also kind enough to give me a ton of snails to help make sure that there was no like competition over food for a while because this is like quite a lot of snails as you can see so I was a little afraid that since his pea puffer is so large, it wouldn't get along with my other two. But fortunately, by the way that I introduced him and everything, it seems to be going okay. So since he's the new guy in the tank, he kind of was in a vulnerable position and he was outnumbered. So I kind of felt like that would help the situation and make them like get along. Also, Jeremy fed him really well earlier in the day. And then before I let him out of the bag, I actually gave my pea puffers a ton of snails. So they kind of got to feast before he was free. And by adding all of these snails, hopefully we can get some kind of population going by itself so I don't have to keep replenishing the snails. But I do actually give them some frozen bloodworms at least once or twice a week just to make sure they're eating enough. So again, as I was introducing the new fish, I actually did it around the time the lights were about to go off on my aquarium. That way it was less stressful for everyone and everybody was just kind of settling down for the night, which made it a little bit more of a calmer experience. Also, I have been having so much trouble with my Pleco uprooting plants that a couple of them have not made it. So I actually bought this really nice grass-like plant and I actually think I'm going to add a couple more of these because I really like how it looks in my tank. And planted tanks really work out well with pea puffers, especially since essentially a large portion of their diet is going to be snails. And of course, snails and plants kind of go together. And of course, the plants help with water quality. Lately, I've been doing 20% water changes once per week with the aquarium. I might bump it up to 25% just since I added the new fish. I don't know, we'll see how they go. But so far the water levels have been pretty good. Everybody's been doing really well. So I think what I've been doing has been working for my tank. So as I acclimated him, I let him float for about 30 minutes, but I didn't wanna keep him in the water too long because Jeremy actually lives about an hour away. Plus we spent some time at the pet store between just like losing oxygen in the bag. You also have to you know, consider the fact that ammonia can build up pretty quickly in them. So I actually just wanted to put him in as quickly as possible. Usually I would say put a little bit of water in, take a little bit of out, you know, and just kind of acclimate him like that. And that's how I've done it in the past, but even the guy at the fish store just kind of suggested I do this as quickly as possible so he didn't have to spend any longer in the bag than he normally would have to. So of course immediately after I put him in the tank I was super anxious. I didn't want any aggression to kind of pop up especially since everybody's been doing so well together. I know like the pleco was kind of a controversial fish to keep with the pea puffers but thus far everybody's gotten along really well. I haven't seen any issues at all no competition over food everybody kind of minds their own business my pea puffers just swim right by it like he's not even there and he does the same so you know i've really kind of seen that this tank is working out really well so of course adding a new fish to the mix that's kind of like a risk you know any kind of fish you put in there but this pea puffer is larger and older and i wasn't sure he's never been around a pleco so i wanted to watch him really well but like i said the lights in my tank were going down slowly and slowly so i wasn't able to observe him too long of course my other pea puffers were like super distracted by all these snails so they weren't even like too totally concerned of course they were curious and they kind of like inspected him but they were like all about these snails this is one of the first interactions i actually caught on camera as you see my pea puffer sees them and just like swims up and they look at each other and then mine just kind of swims away and it's just kind of like a hesitant hi who are you what are you doing in my tank kind of interaction so this is actually something i was really curious about though was how the new fish would interact with my pleco and this is like the only thing i've seen him do since i put him in the tank and of course when he first entered he kind of did that whoosh thing if you saw that 
but of course he's never seen a fish like that so of you know that's not you really a big deal he didn't like attack him or anything so of course the lights went dim everybody calmed down checked on them once or twice throughout the night and i just saw everybody sleeping and then of course the next day when the sun came up in my tank i checked on them right away and everybody was doing really well it seemed like everybody was getting along and so far it's just kind of continued to be pretty good but of course as always i will keep you guys updated on how it goes okay so it is the next day and of course one of the first things i did when i woke up this morning was go check on all the puffer fish and count the puffer fish and i checked on everybody everybody made it through the night really well everybody's looking good so i'm hoping that he's fitting right in it kind of seems so so hopefully they are all going to continue to get along but if you want to follow that more closely of course you can follow me on instagram because i post about them a lot on my instagram so yeah. Also, before we go, I wanted to talk a little bit about this company, Get Bit Brand. So I actually found them on Instagram. One of my Facebook friends had ordered these stickers from them and I had to go check out their Instagram right away because if you guys didn't know, on my Patreon, if you are spider in the spider fam tier or up, then you get some perks and one of the perks is stickers. So when I saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to contact this company. So I reached out and it turns out that they were kind enough to send me not only stickers to send out to my Patreons in that tier, but also they sent me this shirt and of course these ones for me. This shirt is so cool. It really reminds me of like 2006, 2007, like metal bands. Like, so you have a giant like tea stirmy, I'm gonna guess that this is with like a bird and then like their logo get bit and it looks like fangs, super cool and it fits me really well like it's a really good quality shirt not only like does it visually look cool but it's just like really comfortable and it's like kind of like that thicker material it's not like you know i'm i'm very picky with t-shirts if you didn't know look at these this one is their green bottled blue <laughs> sticker this one is a caribbean university color and you see it says it happens and it has like the poop on yeah if you keep any arboreals like you know and then this one is my favorite because it reminds me so much of my king baboon it says needs more substrate with the little spider at the very bottom and of course there is my little king baboon chilling so if you are interested since they were kind enough to send me this i wanted to go ahead and link their website down below so yeah and i'm just looking at my big puffer fish over there i decided i'm going to name him big papa and i remember i asked you guys what i should name the other puffers i never really decided on a name so i've just been calling them the puffers so i guess it's big papa and the puffers in my tank all right that's enough for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video like this video if you did subscribe if you're not and you want to be don't forget that i have an instagram that i use probably way too much it's at tarantula.cat you can go follow me there i also have a patreon which is linked down below i will see you guys soon